Hello, my name is Simon Johnston. I'm the CEO of Icon Relocation and welcome to our ongoing series of videos exploring the housing market in and around London. Now, for those who haven't seen these videos before, just a quick guide. This data is collated from a range of online sources across England. It's important to show that this is actually expressing what has come onto the market, is not showing what is available to rent today. This is also for guide purposes only, albeit we believe it to be fairly accurate. And also to note that all the data shown on the screen is always in proportion to each other. Now on the left we have the legend, so the red of the colour shows a more expensive the location and then below that we have the actual towers, so the higher the tower it shows the higher the level stock. On the right hand side here we have a couple of extra new features, we have the ability to actually filter by rent, so minimum and maximum rent to show which locations could work and also along the bottom you see a bar uh, pop up on a regular basis which is actually showing what the tower is made up of so how many properties make up that um, location and what the average rent is if I can keep the mouse still so with that in mind let's actually have a little look and see what's going on so today is the fourth and what we've done is gone back until last Saturday to see roughly what's come on in the last broadly speaking week so this is all properties so let's filter this a bit by our property size so let's have a look at one bedroom properties well a few things jump out immediately there is quite a few properties that come on in central London which is the Mayfair area so it's yeah it is Mayfair area so we've got 40 odd properties that come on which is fabulous although the average rent for these properties is comfortably over three thousand pounds a month so perhaps not amazing value for money if you look out to the uh, east to look at Docklands we can see some good property numbers that come on there so you've got 8 there, 13 there so you've got a good 20 plus properties that come onto the Docklands area outside those key locations it's relatively modest numbers that come on the week so yes you've got a good number in Croydon Croydon is good in parts not so good in others so be be careful with Croydon it's, it's good but can also be not the best Sutton is pretty good you've got uh, was it 10 new properties coming on there Wembley's got some good property numbers coming on, which is encouraging. But some of the prime locations to north of London, around Islington, etc., is modest numbers around Richmond Park, very modest numbers. Right, so let's move on and look at two bedroom properties and see what's going on here. And the one thing that jumps out, I think, to anybody here is the colour. So you're looking at a really expensive central London market for two bedroom properties. The biggest area is the areas of West London. So you're looking at just below Hyde Park, so South Kensington, Chelsea, these sort of areas. And so around here we've got Kensington and Notting Hill and going around to the Mayfair areas and just north of Mayfair going up to St John's Wood. There is some good stock coming on. But it is expensive. And the same with Docklands. Actually, two bedroom properties are pretty good, but they're going up in price. So 10 properties around Docklands itself, around £2,700 a month. But you can get a little bit better value for money if we look a bit further out. Outside this, again, Croydon looking quite good, unsurprisingly. Sutton OK. Hounslow looking reasonable. Nine new properties, uh, which is quite good. Hounslow is quite good in parts and you can see a number coming on Wembley but some of the key areas outside London the overall stock levels are modest so let's have a look at three bedrooms now this is important because this is obviously your typical characteristic for a family and immediately it jumps out is it's not just low numbers low numbers in London excuse me but also low numbers outside London overall the stock levels are very modest so let's have a look at four bedroom properties and we are seeing again extremely low levels of properties if you look at five bedroom properties uh, again even less and i think unsurprisingly if we look at six bedroom properties apart from a few in richmond area not a lot going on so let's actually go back and look at all properties over this period of time and actually say well what's this telling us well the key issue is be aware what the market's doing so speak to our colleagues and understand what's happening and we can guide you to the areas that are going to give you the best opportunity secondly is when you're looking for a property be reasonably flexible it's great if you have an area that you're interested in but consider other locations that might have similar property types and actually give you a bit of stock better stock levels lastly don't expect to get a deal at the moment it's sad to say but the best properties are coming on the market and leaving extremely quickly so be willing to react swiftly if you like the property with there then make an offer as quickly as you can at that moment in time 
And lastly, at the moment, there's not a chance really of getting that many good deals on the property. Most are going for the asking price, and in the prime locations, they're going above asking price. Now, that said, we are still finding properties. We will always make sure that everybody finds something. But it's really important to understand that this is a difficult market. We've never seen a market like this where probably... A generation or more so with that in mind uh, keep asking us questions about what's going on explore locations outside the ones that you would new, normally initially consider and we look forward to finding your property and addressing any questions you have uh, we do these videos every fortnight so hopefully you look forward to seeing the next one shortly if you haven't seen the previous please go back and have a look because you can start seeing the pattern of what's going on otherwise take care and speak to you again soon